Yeah. Jalen hasn't thrown an interception in practice in a long time. Yeah. How do you think he's doing balancing taking care of the ball while also like taking risks down the field? Uh, I think it's really what you said. He's done a hell of a job um, making the right decisions, especially in practice, uh, going through his reads, going through his progressions very nicely. And then when he's got a chance to make a big play out of the pocket, uh, he'll take it. If not, he's been doing a good job of uh, throwing the ball away when he needs to. We've seen Kenny kind of have some ups and downs during yeah. camp. How has he handled it all, and what do you expect from him? Um, Kenny did a really nice job in the game against the Browns. Um, he ran the ball hard. Uh, he's improving every day, and we're just looking for that growth in year two more than anything with any player. Uh, we want to see that jump in year two, uh, and he's been doing a nice job. Shane, now that you have a chance to kind of review the tape of the uh, Browns game, how did, what did you think of the way that Cam Jurgens played, and yeah. how much does his athleticism sort of open things up in the screen? Um, I thought he did a hell of a job. Um, obviously the first play of the game, he got on the edge and, and you know put that guy on the ground. Um, he's doing a really nice job with the calls, the points, the protection stuff. And then you can see his athleticism getting out in space. Um, so he's, he's a really good get for us. We're excited about his future. You want to avoid like, you know, player comparisons, but when you watch him on film, do you find yourself thinking that looks like Kelsey? Yeah, I, I don't want to compare players because uh, they're all unique in their own ways, um, but he shows some really good signs of athletic ability uh, that we're excited for. What do you think about the RPO game with uh, Gardner running in on time? Uh, he did a nice job. Uh, he came in. He operated at a high level. I believe he was 14 to 17, had over 100 quarterback rating. Uh, really pleased with that group in general, just the overall. You know, we had three drives, scored on the first two of them, and then got down there and you know, missed that opportunity on fourth down, but almost had three scores on three drives with that, that, that second group that was in there. So really pleased with their performance, and we just got to continue that. Is that something that you feel that he uh, excels at versus Jalen, um, or is that just kind of what you guys want to see? That yeah, no, we just did a little bit of that. Um, he does a nice job operating the offense. Um, again, like I said, all those guys, all the quarterbacks right now are, are playing pretty good football, uh, and we, we got to keep that going. I mean, last year in a game, you guys, for running the ball, would usually use two running backs. Um, yeah. You've got three ones that you're, you're playing on here. Right. Back. That, is there going to be a change there, or do you have room to really get all three in to what you want to do? Yeah, I think, I think uh, like, obviously, Miles is our guy, but I'm really excited about Boston and Kenny, uh, what they bring to our bring to the table. And if those guys got to go in and play, I, I feel really good about our backs. I really do. All three of those guys bring something unique. Uh, they all do something uh, really well. They see it well. They hit it well. You know, they can catch the ball to the backfield. Uh, feel, feel really good about the group in general. What was the decision to play Boston first and have him take almost all those carries there? In the you know, Boston, had, you know, he hadn't practiced a lot, and so we wanted to get him going a little bit, you know, just get him out there. Uh, and he did a nice job. Uh, and then Kenny obviously came in and, and carried it well and uh, scored that touchdown there. Uh, but it was really good to see both those guys perform at a high level. As you think about short yardage and goal line yeah. situations, the prototypical power back, is, it, is that something a team needs, or, or do you think those yards can come in different shapes? They, they can come in different shapes. I mean, sometimes you see those big runners, right, that can just mull it in there, but then you got like Boston, right, from a stature standpoint, that he can find those little creases, and same with Kenny. And then Miles has got that speed to power that can hit it, so... Not really concerned about that. Both those guys can, all three of those guys can do it. As a follow-up to that, from a, a data perspective, Jalen Hurts played yeah. that role for you last year. Do you view him as a power type back? Um, I mean, he can be. I mean, I think all those guys, right, if they need to run between the tackles, they can do it, and it's been proven that all, all four of those guys can do it. So, like I said, feel good about all those guys. With Jalen going into his second year in yeah. the offense, were there some things last year that maybe you didn't implement that were in the playbook that now there's a comfort level? I think with anything, going into year two and being in the same system for the first time since high school, I mean, there's a comfort level right there with a the terminology standpoint, and then you can obviously build on that, right? With anything, with any offense, uh, when you're in it for a while, you can build on it and add wrinkles, uh, and we're looking at doing some of those things. With Frank coming back from the injury, yeah. uh, which area does he need to kind of catch up the most? I think with anything, uh, most guys, right, playing tight end in the NFL, right, it's, it's that in-line blocking. Um, we want to see that uh, from him uh, this week. Uh, see where he's at with that. Uh, feel good about it, uh, but we got to see it. Really good. Uh, feel really good about his, uh, you know, receiving skills, uh, running routes. He's he's proven that early on in camp. But it'll be good to get him back out there. They kind of know what told you. What have you seen in the difference from him from last year or this year? I think it's being in the system again for year two, and he's been in the system in Indy. Um, but he's been doing a nice job blocking, running routes, catching balls, and it, it's been showing up on the preseason games. And uh, he, he's got great growth right now, and he's doing a nice job. Good. No, I'm from a. Yeah. No, <laughs> <we're not laughs> <down. laughs>
the defensive players talked last week about the value of seeing under center runs, yeah. play action plays. Um, play action was such a big part of what you did with the Chargers. Yeah. How do you, you use a play action here, and, and why are you not much of an, uh, of an under center team here? I think we can be. It doesn't mean we're not. I mean, can we? Yeah, I think it, it depends on who we're playing and what we're trying to get accomplished from a play action standpoint. If we feel that we can do a play action in the gun, great. But if we need, we, we need to do it under center, that's great too. So that'll be a week by week basis. Does Jalen have more comfort in the shotgun versus under center? I, I think it depends on the play, honestly. That's really what it is. Um, obviously, you know, under center, you get some pull. It depends on what ch- type of play action you're trying to run without getting into too many details uh, what you're trying to accomplish from the gun or under center. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you.